What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I want to talk to y'all about this moment Isaiah Thomas and Steven Jackson had on All The Smoke. I did a video about a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a month ago, I did a video covering how Charles Oakley was trying to clown Isaiah Thomas, and Isaiah Thomas had responded to what Charles Oakley had said on Twitter. So if you missed that video, I'll have the link down below. And um, yeah, man, Isaiah Thomas had clapped back at Charles Oakley for um, trying to clown him about his beef that he had with Jordan. And in that video, I'll play the clip right now, you can see Steven Jackson laughing in the video. And a lot of people was calling Steven Jackson now, why are you laughing like that? Like, do you have an issue with Isaiah Thomas? Because, you know, it can't come off as fake when somebody is laughing that damn hard. So with that being said, let me replay the clip and show y'all what I'm talking about. Here's a video. You still want to be Mike. Mike do not want to be your friend, Isaiah. I'm telling you for the fifth time. He do not want to be your friend. You know, stay on ESPN. Keep talking on TNT. Oh, Mike's just, you know, now you're trying to say everybody better than Mike. It's okay. You not better than Mike. He came to your city and took your city. That's why you really mad. He took over Chicago. I know. Tough, 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 tough. Another YouTuber around association, he had did a video talking about how Steven Jackson was phony for the way he was laughing and snickering at Isaiah Thomas. And he had highlighted how Isaiah Thomas looked out for Steven Jackson. So with that being said, let me highlight that clip real quick. Then I'll be right back with some more commentary. Here's the video. Jack, you should tell him the one about when you, when you almost got ran out of this league. Where we at? In Indy? And yeah. Remember that call you made to me? And I called oh. the commissioner up. Man, I forgot about that. Jack, you was out. I was done. You was done. You was done. I was done so many times, but y'all remember that. And <laughs> and you you said Steven Jackson always preaches he's a real one. And real ones do this and real ones do that. I made a comment in that video as well, um, from around the association. I said that. I said as much Steven Jackson preaches being a real one. And how real ones do this and real ones look out for each other. Isaiah Thomas should be on his Mount Rushmore of real ones. Like, how can he forget that moment that Isaiah Thomas looked out for him and he did that for him, man? Like, he was about to be kicked out of the league and Isaiah Thomas put in a phone call for you and he helped you continue to stay in the league, make more millions. And that's something that you forget. Because you can tell it was like an awkward moment, like the way how Isaiah Thomas was waiting for Steven Jackson to say, like, yo, remember that time I had looked out for you? And Steven Jackson was kind of like, it's like he kind of didn't even want that to be put out there because, you know, his relationship with Charles Oakley, in my opinion. So you can't preach real ones this, real ones that. And something like that happened in your life. This man, you don't even talk about this man on your on your social media pages. You don't say salute to Zeke for what he did. Like, that's the first time I've heard that story of Isaiah Thomas looking out for um, Steven Jackson like that, man. So that's it for today's video, man. Y'all get in the comment section down below. Let me know what y'all think. How do y'all feel about, you know, the way Steven Jackson had handled that? You know what I mean? Like, you don't see Matt Barnes. He wasn't snickering like that in that video when Charles Oakley was talking about Isaiah Thomas. So that's it for today's video. Get in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far in the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, man, and we out. Peace.